Well, hello. Welcome back to my channel, Jashana Hare, to show you my friggin' books. I was going to hold off on doing a bookshelf reorganization and tour uh, until I got all of them matching. But like this bookcase, the last one that I have that doesn't match, I mean, it has five shelves. They are slightly smaller than these other ones, but like whatever, when I've, I wanna rearrange them, organize them, and then when I do get the fifth one to match, I'll just take the books that are on this one and just put them on the other one. And there'll be a little bit of room to grow and that'll be fine. And when I built this fourth one uh, last week, I did clearly like move stuff. I already filmed a bunch of videos sitting over in the corner over here. Um, so it's mostly how I want right now, but not totally. Um, Cause I do have like some empty Empty shelves, obviously. So yeah, I want to kind of move things around because fantasy is obviously the genre I read from the most. So I want to make sure that I have a lot of like empty shelves near where I want the fantasy because that's how it organizes via genre. So yeah, I'm gonna reorganize. I have a little Google spreadsheet where I put like five little blocks and one, two, three, four, five bookcases and like, so I could visualize, okay, I want fantasy here and like here's an empty one. So I do know where I'm gonna move some stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna do a little speed through of me moving shit around a little bit. Not everything though. Okay, I have things rearranged and I actually partway through decided to change like a couple things, whatever. So first I'm going to do just a general overview of like these are the genres here. And then for the people that enjoy it, because apparently a lot of people do, I see other people doing bookshelf tours where they show each individual book. I don't think I've ever done that, um, but people seem to really like it. So. I will give you that option. Uh, I will have like timestamps below, obviously. So we'll do the just overview first. And then for those of you that care, you can watch the individual, every fucking book. I probably won't talk about them a whole hell of a lot. This is gonna take a lot of <laughs> just mental willpower on my part. <laughs> Tedious shit like this is not my jam, but I'll do it for the people, I guess. Okay, over on this very first bookcase uh, which is the final one that needs to be upgraded or whatever I just it needs to match the rest of them and it doesn't right now so in the future these actual shelves will be slightly wider at the top there we have some just kind of general fiction literary fiction mostly Ian McEwan and then uh, a little bit of historical fiction I guess the Cemetery of Forgotten Books series by Carlos Ruiz Efron that's that's like historical. And then we have empty shelves with room for more fantasy. Woot woot. And then down at the bottom is nonfiction. Um, the top shelf there is some uh, memoirs and, well, not memoirs, biographies really. And then just some kind of a couple of like general things. Martin Luther King Jr. speeches and uh, biography. And then like race, politics, systemic racism in various forms, etc., cetera, et cetera. Down here on the bottom is Audrey Hepburn books, biographies, etc. a random bookend <laughs> that I need to move. Um, some kind of like event or like geography nonfiction, like of places. And then this is what I changed. I added, these were on like a shelf with some random poetry books that I have, but they're nonfiction. It's just like writing reference books, so. There, and a couple of religion. There's like the Dhammapada, Siddhartha, and like a little book on big ideas or big things, and it's like world religion. So there's that. 
All right, and then this shelf here, or this bookcase here, this top shelf is empty aside from the one book. Um, it is gonna be more historical fiction because then right below it is my historical fiction with City of Girls on display. Many of these I have not read as of yet, so I could unhaul some of these and this shelf could get more room here anyway, but in the future, I do plan to have even more historical fiction. So that's why there's an empty shelf for it. And then below this, we have one of the shelves that can be seen when I'm recording um, in almost in its entirety. And this is kind of just some favorites in adult fantasy. Let me move my little sign. So there we go. Not all of them are like, oh my God, all time, like most favorites ever. But several of them are, and several of them are like first books in new series. So like Black Sun, I plan on getting Fevered Star, um, House of Earth and Blood, I plan on getting House of Sky and Breath or whatever dumbass name it is. Uh, Son of the Storm, I plan on getting Warrior of the Wind, and then Jasmine Throne, I plan on getting the Oleander Sword. And provided I enjoy all of those, I will continue buying new books in those series. So this shelf will definitely expand. Try this angle instead of so high up. Uh, right below that shelf is some of my favorites, mostly young adult. Uh, the Hunger Games, I have several editions of that. And the only one on here that could continue to grow is the Bells series. They're in the middle, uh, the Bells and the Everlasting Rose. If book three ever comes out, I will want to add it to this shelf. And if that is the case, then I will probably just move um, over here, Where, where's my finger? Uh, the Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein. I'll probably move that one to make room, but yeah. And then below that is empty, save for Norse mythology, um, for more fantasy. And then we have an empty shelf for room for more fantasy, potentially fantasy romance, depending on how large that collection grows. And then below this, we have partially favorites, and then a couple I haven't read and one that's not a favorite, but it just fit here. But yeah, I have the Greenbone Saga, um, except for I need to get the paperback of Jade Legacy when that comes out, which won't be until I think this fall. So when that does come out, I will move She Who Became the Sun. It just fit there and whatever, um, but it's not one of my favorites necessarily. And then the World of Ice and Fire, behind this, I do have my paperbacks stacked up of uh, Song of Ice and Fire. They're just not like the, they're the mass market paperbacks and they're like really shitty. So I don't feel the need to display them right now. At some point I wanna get, I think the UK paperbacks of that series, but at any rate. And then uh, the Joe Abercrombie, the first Law Trilogy, which I have not read yet. And below that, one of my favorite shelves, my Michael J. Sullivan shelf. It is missing one book right now, um, The Rise of Empire for the Ryuria Revelations series because I am almost done with it, but not quite. And I do have this special edition hardcover of Nolan, um, but I do plan on getting the paperback of like the normal color cover blah, um, as well. And then behind that, I have the hardcovers of the Legends of the First Empire. Below this is more adult fantasy, uh, kind of a mix of ones I have read, ones I haven't. Most of these I have not read just yet. And then on the very bottom are all unread adult fantasy. Except I lied. Uh, the Megan Whalen Turner series that's over to the left here. The Thief, the Queen of Atolia, the King and Blah. The, that I believe is young adult, I think, to my knowledge. And then up top here on bookcase number four, we have fantasy romance, except for the Phaedra's trilogy over to the far right, which one of them is removed because I'm about to start it, but I consider that more just like adult epic fantasy, but that's that's where it is for now. I'm, I might move it, I don't know. And behind this hardcover is that whole series, the uh, Parasol Protectorate, one of my faves. And then this shelf is my collections. I got collector's editions, I don't know my Wuthering Heights and Great Gatsby. And then this is um, a few childhood classics, I guess. Black Beauty, uh, Island of the Dolphins, um, Beverly Cleary, I think that one is uh, Socks. It was my mom's edition that she had. And then uh, Little House on the Prairie, that series. 
um, a kind of nice additions and then like old ones. I think those were my mom's as well over on the far left. And then these little mythology lore books. This is a series. There's a few that I need to get. There's like wizards, unicorns, uh, something else. I can't remember. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So, and then over on the far right is some of those Barnes and Noble, like leather bound classics. And below that is the new shelf that was slightly different, um, but with more room here. I just kind of made this, it's like some classics, my Jeanette Oak books, which they're like Christian fi historical fiction romance, but um, I don't read that anymore, but these were so special to me as a kid. I loved these books. And then a little bit to the left of that is some poetry books and some more poetry and then just a couple like little random things. And down here is an empty shelf for kind of whatever. Uh, that complete Pelican Shakespeare is just gonna hang out there for now. <laughs> and on this last bookcase here we have um, my graphic novels over on the left which is monstrous. <laughs> Uh, Watchmen, Lore Olympus, and the Complete Cheese Sweet Home. I do plan on getting the rest of Cheese Sweet Home. I think there's like three or four more uh, parts. And then as Lore Olympus goes on, I'll get that. And obviously as Monstrous goes on, I will continue getting that. So this shelf could end up being more full with graphic novels, but I don't, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how big it'll get. I don't know how long like Lore Olympus is going to go on and Monstrous either. But like I plan on getting the special editions of Monstrous as those come out too. So it could end up being full. And then to the right is, it's mostly just young adult contemporary, uh, but then some young adult historical as well. And then here is a young adult fantasy shelf, except I do need to move one book on there that is not actually young adult. Um, I need to move A Curse and Ash to the fantasy romance shelf. But yeah, the rest of these are young adult fantasy and uh, several of them I have read, some of them I have not. So we shall see if they stay. And then we do still have my, it's mostly Throne of Glass shelf, all the hardcovers with the special edition, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Slip cover, sl ca sleeves, cases, book, what am I trying to say? Dust jackets, Jesus. Uh, and then the paperbacks. <laughs> which I will use to reread. And then the first two books of the Akatar series, I unhauled Akka War because I didn't like it really and don't believe I will ever reread it. And then below that we have my Dear America collection as it currently stands and then a series of unfortunate events, which I love, is one of my favorites. At some point I, I do plan on getting all of the Dear America books, so I'll have to figure out something with that because this shelf is obviously quite full. And then down here at the bottom of the last bookcase, the last bookshelf, these are just some childhood favorites of mine. Books that are actually from like that I had in my childhood. Um, a couple that are like newer editions to reread um, so I don't continue damaging the older ones. But yeah, that's what that is. There's like two books in there I think that were from the Philippines that I got that are just children's books or middle grade that I haven't actually read yet. Uh, but the rest of them are all favorites that I have read many, many times. I can't get these two out without taking all the books off because of this <laughs> ledge here. So it's Celeste Ascending by Kaylee Jones and then Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. And then that book on the far right with the awesome naked hardcover is just another edition of the Angels game that I keep because it is stunning. Below this is an empty shelf that is open and available for probably more fantasy. Same here.
here is pretty much empty, but it will be for more historical fiction.
All right. Well, uh, I have lost the light and my will to go on. No, I'm just kidding. That was very tedious though. I will probably never do this again. And the thought of editing this right now is not appealing. <laughs> uh, and I feel, I feel like I'm sweaty from just like moving the books or like, oh my God. That took many hours, what the damn hell. Also, it didn't help that my phone kept dying, so I had to keep stopping and charging. Anyway, I hope that someone enjoys this. <laughs> if not, then I just wasted some time. It's fine, worse things could happen. But yeah, I'm happy with where my shelves are currently. I have room to grow into them with more books, um, specifically with like the fantasy stuff, so. I'm pretty happy with that, and I just can't wait to get my last matching bookcase now, but that'll come probably in a couple months. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already and you feel so inclined. If you're still here, leave a little, uh, what, what emoji? Uh, leave the little, uh, little chicken coming out of the egg. I use that one a lot when I watch people's videos and I don't have anything really to say, but I want to like let them know I'm watching. I use the little like, meh, little chick. You know, you know what I'm talking about? I'm losing my mind. I need to go. As always, thank you so much for your time. Hope you all have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.